So I have a website that does bottle cutting um, and they want to create a drop down menu for one of their items. This is a very common thing that needs to be done. It's supported across most of the themes that you buy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go sh through and show you how to create a drop down menu if you ever want to add that to your site. Um, as you can see here they have this purchase button and they have the two projects that they're selling. Um, if I've, I've now removed what I've done, if I refresh the page, you'll see that that is now gone and it's just a simple purchase link. So what I want to do in order to create the drop down, I'm going to zip over to the admin section and log in um, and I'm going to go to the navigations button. So how this basically works is the top level uh, has all your different nav items that you want to see and each one of these nav items has a link reference to it. So what I mean by that is see if you hit edit link list you can see here permanent link and handle it says main dash menu. Now if I go and create another link list with that handle I'll be able to put menu items underneath it. So what I want to do is I want to add some drop downs to the purchase uh, item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add a new link list. I'm going to call it purchase to add to the site and we'll see that it drops down underneath all the other ones and then I can start adding links to it. So if I add a new link here, I want to add the Kinkajou is the first one and I want that to link to a product collection and we're going to go to the kits and we're going to add that link and then we're going to add the Jibberoo which is the other one and we're going to go to it's going to go to a page. And I spelled it, it's the jabber, not the jibber. Hit add link. Now I can rearrange these like I normally would on any other navigation. Similar above here, I can take the purchase because I don't want it after they contact us. I actually want it right after the about. As soon as I hit save on that and I go over to the site and refresh, we'll see that it shows up and away we go, we've got our drop down. And we can add this to as many things as we want.